now we're, we're in the sort of the final stages of the panel. So um, what about advice, Bram? Somebody wants to get started with HDR. What's the first thing they need to do? Well, the, the missing piece for everybody is a monitor, typically, because as we were talking about earlier, everything else is there. The cameras are the same. The lenses are the same. The, the grading systems are the same. All the tools are there, and they're, you're, there's really no added cost there. So it's really a monitor. You need a good HDR monitor, and they're more affordable now than they ever have been. So that's, that's where people need to go if they want to start seeing, um, seeing or realizing their HDR vision. Okay, and let, let's bring that vision back to on set. Perhaps you can say a few words about the, the thought process. We are in the 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 你说咱能追上好莱坞吗？不是瞎扯的吗？所以呢，这些就是我们一个作为一个摄影师，作为一个前期的拍摄者，我们对现场的监看，我们对每一个细节的把控，其实这个HDR对我来说是真的是开了一
所以这这些事儿到今天都不复存在，现在就是真实的，你们去看一下，就在隔壁。Okay, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'd like to um, just reiterate that this is not something that is out of your reach. It's in your software, it's in your phones, it's in your laptops, um, and it just requires a little bit of time to um, familiarize, familiarize yourself with it. Uh, there are some fantastic examples of good HDR here at the exhibition. So I recommend that you do start to look for those and see what people are doing with HDR. I'd like to thank the panel now for taking the time to be here. Then thanks, thank you everybody. Um, I'd like to thank CNSC for hosting this panel. Uh, it's been very informative and, and I enjoyed it very much. Thank you.